Hi guys, so this would be our discussion for cost volume profit relationships, which is uh, our last module for our midterms. So in here we will talk about the relationship on how cost uh, and volume affects uh, affects the profit that the company realizes uh, throughout its operations. So why do we need to understand the significance of uh, the relationship of cost, volume, and profit? So CB CVP analysis helps the management to understand the interrelationship between cost, as mentioned, cost, volume, and profit in an organization by fo focusing the intera the on interactions between the following elements. So uh, we tend to examine the the relationship of cost volume and profit and how is it affected by when there is a change in product price when there is a change in activity level when there is a change in variable cost a change in total fixed cost so definitely these items the first four items would affect the company if it only produces a single product and if, or if it wants to examine a single product while the product mix also has an effect on uh, on on the company's profits being realized as a result of uh, how they how how they bundle the sales of these items or how well do they sell one item in relation to another so what what we need to understand in cost volume profit analysis is that uh, there are there are items in here mentioned in this uh in this slide that would that would have effects on us realizing profit when what would be the effect when price changes in relation to the total volume and in into the cost of the product that is being sold there will definitely be an effect and what would be uh, as we have studied before, uh, we do know that in economics, when price increases, what would happen to demand? It would most likely decrease. But uh, do we want that decrease uh, in demand more than the? the in uh, do we are we good with the decrease in demand? If there would be an increase in price, which would be which one would be material? So we we will analyze that in this module so first up what is contribution margin contribution margin is, a, is the excess of unit selling price over unit variable cost and the amount each unit sold contributes toward initially the covering of fixed costs then subsequently providing operating profits so in here we have the notion that contribution margin would initially help in covering the costs fixed costs that were incurred then subsequently when all fixed costs is covered we will be able to realize profits so that is the point that is the only point when we get to realize profits this was mentioned already in previous uh, previous modules so we have the formula in solving for contribution margin. So if we want to determine contribution margin per unit, so this is uh, this is contribution margin per unit. We have the unit selling price minus the unit variable cost. If we want to, co to determine the contribution margin ratio, that would be the contribution margin per unit divided by sales. So it can be also re restated as Unit selling price yet less unit variable cost all over sales. The weighted average contribution margin. Uh, this is applicable only when there are more than one product in a company. Now, the assumption here, uh, we have certain number of assumptions here um, in computing for this. We assume that the mix so when there are when there are more than one product in an organization we assume that the mix remains constant within the relevant range so that's why the weighted average contribution margin would be computed as 
the item 1 contribution margin multiplied by the units in that mix plus the item 2 contribution margin multiplied by the units in that mix, units of that item in that mix, all over the total number of units per sales mix. So the total number of units in that sales mix. To get the weighted contribution margin ratio, we get the uh, contribution margin in peso divided by the total sales in peso. So we will have computations regarding that in a while. Now, we solve this problem. So the Bronco Bird Feed Company reported the following information. So you have sales, 400 cases, 100,000, variable expense, 60,000, contribution margin, 40,000, fixed expense, 35,000, -oper net operating income, rather, 5,000. So how much will be the sale of one additional case add to Bronco's net operating income? So to solve for this, we need to determine how much uh, how much is the selling price? So to get the selling price, we have that 100,000. We divide that by 400 cases. So we have 100,000 divided by 400. We would get 250. So that would be our selling price. Now the variable expenses, we get 60,000 divided by 400. That is 150. So our contribution margin per unit would be 250 minus 150. That is 100. So we can actually compute that alternatively by dividing the contribution margin, total contribution margin of 40,000 with the number of cases in the sales. 400 so that is actually 40,000 divided by 400 you would still get 100 so 100 if there would be an additional unit that is to be sold in this scenario it would add a hundred pesos on the total uh, to the on the net operating income because in here we would definitely see that fixed expenses were totally covered by the current contribution margin of 40,000 because fixed expenses is 35,000. Now, if we get to sell an additional one unit, that would be an additional 100 peso to the net operating income. What if we sell additional two units? That would add how much to the net operating income? 200 pesos because each unit that we sell contributes an additional 100 to the net operating income so now we move forward with break-even planning what is break-even point that is the level of sales volume where total revenues and total expense are equal so this is the point where there is neither profit nor loss so how do we determine that to compute for the break-even point of a product in units we get the fixed cost and divide by contribution margin per unit to identify how many units do we need to sell in order to cover the fixed for fixed cost initially now to get the break-even point in pesos we get the fixed cost divided by one minus variable cost over sales or the contribution margin ratio that is contribution margin ratio actually to get the break-even point for a multi-product firm or for more than one product, we divide fixed costs with the weighted average contribution margin. And for in peso, we will use the weighted contribution margin ratio as the denominator. Now, let's say this is a graph and we will plot this one. What would be this one? This would be, let's say this represents variable cost. And this one what kind of costs has this behavior wherein it begins with an amount and remains constant through the relevant range? That would be a fixed cost. Now, what would be what would be the what would be the representation of this line? This line is perpendicular, parallel rather, 
parallel with the variable cost line, they will never meet, but would start at the fixed cost. This one would be the total cost line. Now, let's say this is the sales. This area would represent an amount, uh, an area where sales would not be enough to cover fixed costs. So this entire triangle, well, this one, uh, this is still at a loss, but the fixed cost is already covered. Which one is not covered here? The variable cost. Now this area, the area where sales intersect with the total cost line would be the break even point. And this one would be a profit area. So in revenue and cost planning, we can actually use break even point in revenue and cost planning using the same formula, wherein we just need to uh, add the desired profit with the fixed cost and divide with any denominator that we have on the previous formulas that we presented. So now, let's try to answer this problem. So Merlin Enterprises manufactures a cellular telephone. The company's partial contribution format income statement for the most recent years below. Now let's determine break even sales. Now to compute with break to compute for break even sales, what is the comp what is the formula for break even point? That is fixed cost over contribution margin. Now in here, we can actually determine the contribution margin per unit. How do we determine that? We have the variable expense ratio. So to compute for that, CM per unit, we will get the contribution margin per unit, which is 60, uh, no rather sales price per unit, multiplied by 1 minus 55%. So that is 60 times 0.45 we get point 45 yes we get 27 so to compute for the break even point in units we have 108000 which is the fixed cost divided by 27 so 108000 divided by 27 we get 4000 units but if we want to determine the break even break even point in in sales pesos so break even point in pesos what is the contribution margin ratio here we have the variable expense variable expense ratio variable cost ratio and contribution margin ratio are complementary ratios if we, it means that when we add them together, variable expense ratio plus contribution margin ratio would equate to 1. So therefore, if variable expense ratio is 55%, we have a contribution margin ratio of 45%. So to get that break-even point in sales pesos, we have 108,000 divided by 45%. So 108,000 divided by 0.45 we will get 240,000 so that's it that is in peso so our break even point in units would be 4000 while in 400,000 units while in pesos we have 240,000 so what amount of sales would uh, would the company need to uh, to get in order to have a profit of 54,000. So, to compute for that, target sales, we have the fixed cost plus target profit over the contribution margin ratio. So, our fixed cost is 108,000 as mentioned here. The target profit is 54,000 divided by the ratio of 45%. So now 108,000 plus 54,000, that is 162,000 divided by 
45% we will get so we need a sales amount of 360,000 pesos in order to achieve the profit of 54,000 to get that in units we simply divided by 60 which is the selling price per unit so 6,000 units how do we determine if the uh, the question requires an answer in pesos or in units if the uh, if the actually the problem should say that the item should say that it requires units or in say in sales pesos the question for number letter b sales to earn 54,000 profit is asking actually for peso because uh if the question asks for units it would say how many units should the company sell in order to earn 54,000 profit so our answer would be for the first one 4,000 units or 240,000 pesos and for the second answer that is 360,000 pesos